Hello and welcome to our Python tutorial. Today's tutorial we're going to talk about args and keyword args. So let's just go ahead and write the uh, function header here. So we'll define it as a, we'll define a function and we'll call it name. And we're going to pass uh, an argument of args. So that takes uh, one asterisk and I'll explain that in a second. And then keyword args takes two asterisks. Now you probably see this quite often if you're watching tutorials and you're like what in the hell does that all do well first off args really does nothing because it's a convention same with keyword args so we could actually name these something different we can call it name we could call it dog all right so that means nothing so I'm just gonna go ahead and set them back to what they were um, so what actually whoa I mean, do that. What actually means something is the asterisks, all right? So a single asterisk is args, and what does args return? Args, uh, we put in, or what does args do? Args, we can put in numerous arguments into a function, um, and what it does is if we print out just args, it returns a tuple, all right? And in that tuple would have our values, all right? So a single asterisk is just arguments, all right? There's no set, uh, uh, value or anything like that. Now you come over to keyword args, which has two asterisks. And like I said, you can name it something else, but two asterisks indicates keyword args. And what it, what keyword arg is, um, basically we set a value. So we do like a uh, dog and we'll set it equal to something and it'll be my dog's name. So Molly, something like that. All right. That's a keyword arg. We're giving it a name. All right. And what keyword args returns is a dictionary. So you got the the key and the value. All right. So key value. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these in action. <clears throat> now, I know it looks pretty um, uh, intimidating when you're looking at these because you're like args and keyword args. What? What? It's really simple. So don't overthink this. Okay. So let's just go ahead and print um, args. Oops, not with asterisks, args like that, okay? And we're just going to take a look at what it returns to us, okay? So let's go down here and we'll call name and we'll just pass some names. We'll say uh, Tom, Bill, uh, Kate, Jake. All right, so we're passing four values. So this function will take four values and do something with them whatever your function does all right ours is just printing so if we take a look uh if we come back to our terminal and we're going to go ahead and run this it's called keyword arg so i'll do python three keyword args.py and you notice we got a tuple here with our names tom bill kate jake all right cool uh what happens if we don't want to print them in a tuple well that just comes down to basic Python, we'll take out the print statement. We'll come here and do for arg in args, and we'll just do print arg. All right, we'll go back and rerun that, and we will get them printed out Tom, Bill, Kate, Jake. All right, so what happens if we added another name? Let's say Dave. All right, come up here, we'll go ahead and run this, and we get Tom, Bill, Kate. Jake Dave. All right, so that's the point. Uh, that's what an arg does. It lets us pass uh, any number of values to a function. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, just don't overthink it. I know that the asterisk is a little intimidating, but the asterisk is what indicates args. All right. Um, like I said before, we can change this to anything we want. All right, let's take a look at uh, keyword args. All right. Um, so keyword args, I showed you what it was, is we set a value, uh, or we set a, a key or a name, and then we set a value to that key or name. All right, so it's a key value. It's a dictionary. So let's go ahead and um, just print keyword args like that, and we'll just give some values down here. We'll make sure it's proper. Um, let's do a first name is equal to my first name Tom and then last name is equal to my last name Myers alright 
So let's go ahead and call this and just take a look at what it returns to us. And I, I think the, the key to understanding this is what it's actually returning to you. All right. So this, the args returns tuple and keyword args returns a dictionary. All right. So let's go ahead and as you can see right here, if, I didn't, if you didn't see that quick enough, that's what it returns to us. All right. So you got your key and your value, key and value. All right. Cool. Um, so that doesn't do much for us. We don't want to show it in a dictionary format. So let's go ahead and change this around a little bit here. Let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do uh, for key in, whoops, for key and value in keyword args dot items. And then we'll come down here and do uh, print. And we'll say, uh, what do you want to say? We'll say uh, your uh, your f first name is and these curly braces. If you're not familiar, are for formatting. So format. Oops, got to spell it right. Format. And then in here we'll just do a uh, key and value. So what this should return to us is your first name the the uh, key right here and then is and then return your name hopefully so let's go ahead and take a look your first name is Tom your last name is Myers pretty simple right um, so that is keyword args and args I hope I broke it down so you guys can understand it a little bit better if you do not understand it please ask a question uh, I'll break it down even more for you um, but it's pretty simple just remember args returns a tuple so if you know how to work with tuples then you can work with args now uh, keyword args returns a dictionary if you know how to work with dictionaries and call their values then you can work with that so it's not too hard to understand now it does get confusing sometimes when you're you're looking at some tutorials and you're like what's this guy passing or this lady whoever's teaching a tutorial to args and keyword args well once you figure that out you will understand the whole function all right so um that is args and keyword args and when would you use these well when you don't know how many values you're passing to your function okay so if you have <clears throat> just one value that you're constantly going to pass to this function it's probably not a good idea to use args or keyword args all right so if you're only passing one value then what's the point all right it just gets confusing now if you're pass, you don't know the number of values you're going to pass to it uh say on one function run it has two and the next function run it has a hundred values then it would probably be smart of you to pass or to use args or keyword args all right um but if what i was trying to say earlier is if you have always the same number of values being passed to this function then don't use args or keyword args go ahead and use a variable or something all right that's it uh if any questions please let me know have a good day